if Donald Trump is still the Trump we fought for, then he likely has a plan in this where he not only plays or tries to leverage the Chinese against the Russians, against the, the Turks and the ISIS people, and but also against, uh, also use the, the Democratic and Republican establishment and the deep state and the machine as part of the equation. I think he figured out that he cannot <clears throat> simply be him and Bannon, two men of entirely um, radically different views from 99% of 99.9% .9 of the people they're working with directly or indirectly in terms of the as someone put it people at the leverage of uh, at the levers of power uh, he figured out probably it's just not uh, gonna work as a unilateral presidency he um, predictable uh, for an outsider like me, it's predictable that Trump's, uh, let's say, alt-right agenda um, would have gotten compromised simply by this, the whole apparatus of the American state economy being uh, at odds with that agenda. So, and it's all these trillions are just uh, pressing in, onto the stone that Trump is and. It's, it's forming cracks and layers are falling off, but I think, I hope he still has his heart uh, center where he realizes that the jobs he's creating, the economy he is uh, improving and in the, the state of the security inside the country he's, uh, he's uh, enhancing. Um, that this is the... Um, that all, all warring he does is just to secure American positions in the future. Because this is the thing, the U.S. is there uh, since 2003. You can't destroy, go in with an army, destroy a whole region, uh, then pull out, arm crazy people, and then say, pretend you're not in that war. So in a sense, I think there's an ability to sending a, a hundred thousand troops there to clean things up because it is entirely the US's uh, fault Obama's and Bush's fault that and the connect we all know the connections with uh, you know at least ISIS has all the equipment and logistics it seems uh, that from so it's not it's not fair to just pretend you can just pull out or not be involved just and say, let them figure it out, because how are they going to resolve? These people don't have the means to resolve this. The means are in the hands of the crazy people, and they were given those means by other states who now want to you know, try to keep their hands clean. But they, I think Trump has a chance of cleaning America's hands once and for all of its dirty involvement in the Middle East. But that means he will have to actually successfully generate a consensus between the Russians and himself uh, and uh, larger powers that don't include fanatical states. I think if there's one thing we can count on with him is that he's not going to um, well, I don't know actually it's kind of dangerous so. His, it's, in this, okay, in the simplest terms, his, um, where Obama had a diplomatic strategy in the U.S. in general, he has a business strategy, which means that instead of first being soft and then enhancing the pressure, you first show sort of all the cards you have in your favor, intimidate the other party into reacting, into showing his cards or showing his fate, his uh, his uh, soul, his situation, and then, you know, when things get going, he's counting on his wit probably to see the thing that nobody else sees, where he just can put people in their in in positions 
with respect to each other that are totally new and totally in favor, um, favorable to his position that he can always engineer as a as the great capital owner, which uh, which is you know the role he he tries to get the U.S. to play, rather than the ideological master, simply the richest country, which is much more honest. But yeah, it's very dangerous. But it's still not nearly as dangerous as what uh, as this whole Ukraine meddling that went on before. Because that's actually at the border of the of the state. So yeah, this North Korea stuff is dangerous. But come on, these people have been launching missiles and constantly saying they're gonna throw them. So at one point, we actually someone has actually it's true. Someone has to do something, and it's the Chinese that have to do something. But if they won't do it, you know, if Trump pushes them so far that they uh, get involved in a local war, the ground war or something there, then he's, uh, you know, what's in that for the Chinese, you know? I think that's what he's thinking. So, um, and he can always turn back. He's turned back so many times. That's also one of his strengths. He doesn't give a shit about just reversing his position. To, but one thing you can count on is that he has a, a aim of gain for the U.S., uh, I think. Uh, and yeah, he might now fail because this is a very dangerous game he's playing, and it's not to be. It's it's. But if there was ever a moment when this 2003 thing could sort of be brought to a conclusion, it would be under Trump, but under an assertive Trump. That is true. So I hope he has this has a great plan where all the pieces are accounted for.